Air Force One is literally a flying fortress. It flies higher than any other aircraft, is as fast as an F-16 fighter jet, and acts as a bunker in case of a nuclear attack. This is the most unshakable aircraft in the world. Welcome to Tech Buy World, whether it's short distances or long journey, Air Force One is always ready to transport the President of the United States anywhere in the world. Air Force One is a name for any plane the President travels on, but for years, it's been associated with this aircraft, the Boeing 7472-200B. There's actually two of them, and these aren't standard commercial aircraft. If they're custom made by Boeing and upgraded by the US military, the aircraft costs over $26,000 per hour to operate its six, its six stories high, its 76M in length, which is longer than any commercial jet, weighs 378,000 kilos each, and it can fly at a maximum altitude of 45, 1, 100 feet. Its Air Force designation is VC-25, and their tail numbers are 280 and 290 interior. The floor plan inside the aircraft is 4,000 square feet of floor space spread across three decks. The upper deck is a telecommunication center with technology so advanced. It acts as a mobile command center. The lower deck acts as a cargo hold and has a self-contained baggage handling system. And the middle deck is where all the action happens in the quiet forward area lies the presidential suite this is where the presidential office is along with a bedroom with, with a private shower in addition to this the president's personal quarters are marked by a star patterned carpet on the floor so this is the flying oval office if you look on the floor whenever you see stars on the carpet on air force one that is the president's personal space right outside is an area for the secret service and then comes the situation room notice the carpet changes again to the stars the situation room in the sky if you notice there are seat belts here but seat belts with the presidential seal and fun fact the white phones are for unclassified calls while the beige phones are secure lines up ahead are the quarters for 70 passengers along with work areas a conference and dining room and two kitchens but it doesn't stop there air force one always has a doctor on board there's an operation room filled with the latest medical equipment and extra supply of the president's blood type and special vaccinations in case of emergency the defense systems air force defense one sits in a super secure hangar at joint base andrews just outside washington dc the base is secured by a military checkpoint and it has two additional layers of fencing within its boundaries, but according to the military air force, one is safer in the sky than on ground. So what makes it a flying fortress for starters, it can make a 14,315 kilometers journey in one go. And since it's capable of being refueled in mid air, air force one can stay in flight almost indefinitely. It has a top speed of 965 kmph. In fact, it's so fast that one of the F-16 pilots who escorted it to Washington during 9-11s said he actually had to speed up to catch up with it. Air Force One is heavily modified by the military and is strong enough to function as an airborne bunker. Its defenses account for air-to-air -air missiles, ground to a missiles and possible drone attacks. The body of the aircraft is armor-plated and so is the glass in the windows. Each exit has its own retractable staircase to avoid sabotage once it's at the airport. Defense systems include enemy radar jammers ejecting flares that throw off heat-seeking missiles protection against an electromagnetic pulse and a whole lot of other features that are obviously top secret. If you've enjoyed the video so far and wanted want to see more of these, hit that like button and subscribe to Explained. All right, security protocols. Security, whether it's a short flight to New York or a long haul flight across the world. Every flight is a mission. It's all planned down to the last detail and every possible interference is accounted for, including alternative taxiing routes in flight. Air Force One is secured with its own airspace and non-presidential aircraft must maintain a distance of three nautical miles or five and a half kilometers from it. Several aircraft carrying helicopters and other security services fly out earlier, especially on international trips. This includes the C-17 Globemaster containing the presidential motorcade and the Beast, and trailing behind Air Force One is the Doomsday Plane. This is an EB-4, 
Advanced Airborne Command Post, there are only four in existence and it acts as an airborne nuclear bunker and war room for nuclear emergencies. Now this might surprise you Air One is so secure it has no fighter jet escort. In fact the only time it's ever accompanied by fighter jets is in the event of a crisis like 911, or if they're putting on a show for the media besides this, you'll never spot Air Force One at an ordinary airport anywhere in the world, that's because it always lands at a secure base that's mostly military, usually a group with members of the US military secret service and White House evaluate the airport weeks ahead, and prep the, the authorities for the president's arrival. Air traffic control is instructed to divert any flights that are scheduled to arrive around the same time, and in some cases this affects flights at nearby airports too. The secret crew Air Force One is secret crew maintained and operated by the presidential airlift group, and this is where the presidential pilots and crew are trained as well. This includes two pilots, a navigator, and an engineer in the cockpit besides hospitality. The crew pilots spend hours training for what-if scenarios with the Secret Service. They take their training very seriously. For example, prior to the presidential inauguration processions, a simulated attack training is conducted to better prepare all involved with the procedures covering all foreseeable eventualities. Additionally, the presidential pilots who are from the U.S. Air Force learn evasive maneuvers for the rare event of an attack. President Nixon visited Syria in 1974. The Syrian government sent four MiGs to welcome and escort Air Force One to the base, but the message wasn't passed on to the crew. So the presidential pilot, fearing an attack, sprung into action and even went into a steep dive. The new Air Force One, the new Air Force 1747-200B, has served the president since 1990. But that's soon to change. In 2018, Boeing received $3.9 billion for two new 7,478 aircraft. They're due for delivery in 2024, but severe delays and Co-9 has pushed it to 2026 to 2027. The company says it's being built with state-of-the-art features that are more advanced than the current ones. This includes upgraded military-level avionics, advanced communication systems, and self-defense systems. Any guesses what the other cool luxury and military features are, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Tech Buy World.